the mine had been worked by the little engines, and their lines were still in place. But now everything was very rusty and overgrown. Sir Topham Hatt was most impressed, but Toby was rather scared. He was glad when it was time to go home. I think the castle and the mine will make a fine place for visitors, but it will take some hard work first. Y yes, sir, said Toby nervously. Sir Topham Hatt's plans were soon put into action, but Toby was still worried. I'm sure this place is haunted, he thought. It's our turn to stay here on guard tonight, Toby. Oh, y y yes, why not, stuttered Toby. Beware of the ghost, Toby, Thomas said. What ghost? asked Toby. The old warrior ghost. Every night he lights his fire, then goes hunting. Toot toot! Goodbye! Night came. Toby looked anxiously around. Everything seemed rather spooky. Quite suddenly, he heard a strange wheezing sound. It's the ghost! he wailed. What ghost? his driver asked. It's the old warrior. He's come to hunt me down. Don't be so daft. We'll go and investigate. They returned quite soon. The old warrior wants to meet you, laughed his fireman. Can't it wait till morning, replied Toby. Ghosts don't work day shifts, said his driver. Toby bravely made his way. Well, bless my bell, he exclaimed. There, in front of him was a little old engine. This is your ghost, Toby, said the signalman. His name's really Bertram, but we call him the old warrior because he's so brave. Bertram and Toby are now friends. They take the visitors to the castle and the mine. If there are any ghosts here, they certainly help to make the place very happy.